Hey everybody, uh, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is uh, decimal multiplication. We're going to use grids here to multiply decimals to show how we do that. So um, there's our common course strand for our teachers. And then our essential question is, how can we use a model to multiply decimals? Here we're going to use grids here. So this is lesson 4.6. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. All right, let's get started here. So the distance from Savannah's house to her grandmother's house is 0.8 miles. This is represented as 8 tenths of a mile. Savannah rides her bike 7 tenths of the distance and then walks the rest of the way. How far does Savannah ride her, her bike to grandmother's house? So here we're going to use these squares right here to multiply 7 tenths times 8 tenths or 0.7 times 0.8. Okay. So we're going to draw squares with 10 columns, okay, and so what uh, decimal does each column represent? Okay, so to remember what columns are, I remember about a Colosseum. A Colosseum has these, these columns here that, that hold it up, and columns go up and down. So I just remember that columns go up, just like in a Colosseum, and rows go left and right right here. Okay, so let's go back here. So it says draw uh, a square with 10 equal columns. So here's 10 equal columns right here. Okay, so what decimal value does each column represent? They represent 1 tenth. Okay, so this is uh, 1 tenth. This is in the tenth spot, or 1 tenth is a fraction. Okay, and then so we're going to use colored pencils to shade the columns on the grid to represent the distance to grandma's house. Okay, so the distance to grandma's house is 8 tenths of a mile. So since each one of these represent 1 tenth, we're going to shade 8 of these. Let me slide this up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and shade 8 of them. There is 8 tenths right there. So how many columns did we shade? We shaded 8 of them. And so now we're going to divide the square into 10 equal rows. Okay, well rows go like this, so we're going to divide and then, so here they are. So it's going to look like a bunch of squares right there. So here's one row, Here's another row, here's another row, here's another row. So what decimal value does each row represent? Well, there's 10 of them. They represent uh, 1 tenth, okay, or 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is 1 tenth right there. All right, so use a different color and shade the rows that overlap the shaded columns that represent the distance to Grandma's house that Savannah rides her bike. Okay, well, remember, she rides 7 tenths of it. So so I, I, I shaded it with uh, straight lines right here because it's hard for me to shade otherwise right here with a different color. So here I shaded seven rows. One row, two row, three row, four row, five row, six row, seven rows. So that represents seven tenths of the way right there. Okay, so what part of the distance uh, to Grandma's house did Savannah ride her bike? She uh, went seven tenths. Okay, and so how many rows did that shade? That shaded seven of the rows. All right, so, so now we want to know how many squares got shaded twice. Okay, so that is, um, if we're going to count them, here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then here's eight more is 16. Here's eight more is 24. Here's eight more is 32. Here's eight more that got shaded twice. I'm not counting these guys over here. So 32 plus eight is uh, 40, and then 45, and then uh, finally, uh, we get seven of them right there. Did I say 45? I meant 48 right there. So 56. So there's 56 squares that got shaded twice. Each square represents uh, 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 one one hundredth because there's a hundred of these squares right here. There's a hundred of this one, this one, this one. If I kept counting all of these, there would be a hundred of them. Let me go back right here. Let me go back before we shade it twice right there. Okay, so there's a hundred squares in this 10 by 10 right here, and then only 56 of them got shaded twice. So each square represents one one hundredth. So that means uh, uh, 0.7 times 0.8. Here's 0.8 from here to here. Here's 0.7 from here to here, and it gave us an area of 0.56 or, or 56 hundredths. So Savannah rides her bike for 56 hundredths of a mile. Okay, so explain. Uh, there's a couple of questions here. How, how uh, dividing the decimal squares into 10 equal columns and rows uh, shows that tenths multiplied by tenths equals hundredths right here. Okay, well, here, let's do this one at a time right here. So here's, here's 10 equal columns right here, and each column represents one tenth or 0.1 right here. Here's 10 equal rows right here. And so the red rows are 10 equal rows, which also equal uh, 1 tenth or 0.1 right here. And when we combine the two, then we get uh, 1 tenth times 1 tenth, which is 1 one hundredth. 
And so the decimal gives us 0.1 times 0.1, which is 0 0.01. So each one of these squares represents 1 one hundredth right there. Okay. All right. So y is part of the model represented the, uh, representing the product less than either factor. Well, when we multiplied 8 tenths times 7 tenths right here, it gave us this little piece right here, which is 56 one hundredths. So when we take a fraction of a fraction, it keeps making it smaller. So 8 tenths times 7 tenths is 56 uh, hundredths right there. And this is 70 hundredths. If I, play, if I put that in hundredths, if I put a zero right there, this is 80 hundredths. And when you're taking fractions of fractions, it just keep, makes them smaller and smaller right there. So when you multiply. All right, we can use uh, decimal squares to multiply uh, decimals that are greater than 1. So here we're going to multiply 0.3 times 1.4. Okay, so what we're going to do first is shade columns to represent 1.4. Okay, so if I shaded all of these columns, there would be 1, and then what would it represent 0.4 more over here. So what we're going to do is shade, here is 10 columns plus 4 more is 14 columns. So this represents 1, because the whole thing shaded, 0.4 right there, okay? And then, uh, so how many uh, tenths are shaded in, in 1.4? 14 of them right there. So now we're going to shade um, uh, the over lap shaded region columns to represent 0.3. So shade rows, shade the rows that overlap the shaded columns to represent 0.3. So 0.3 we're going to do three rows. So three rows, three rows, three rows. Okay, so we'll do that right there. Okay, and then so uh, how many rows did we shade? We shaded three of them and so count the number of squares that we shaded twice. Okay, we could have kept shading these ones too. I suppose I should have, but I stopped right there because I knew I was going to stop because that's where the 1.4 stopped. All right, so count the number of squares that we shaded twice. Well, there's 14 right here plus 14 more is 28 plus 14 more is going to give us 42 squares. So um, there's 42 squares, so since these squares equal hundredths, then there's 42 hundredths, or 0.42, okay? This ends in the hundredth spot, so 42 hundredths. This reads as 42 hundredths right there, okay? So uh, 0.3 times 1.4 is uh, 42 hundredths, or 0.42, okay? All right, you guys, hope that makes sense. And if you can, would you click like on this video? Thanks a lot, you guys. Take care.